Mike's Plumbing and Clive. Hope you've had a good week and earned a few quid. I've got a few bits for you this week, uh, some plumbing, some burnt boiler repairs. I'm going to talk about some uh, van stock as well, get the first time fixes up. <coughs> Let's get into it. Alright, we're on our way. We've had the call, boiler losing pressure. Uh, it's having to top it up every day apparently. So let's go have a look. I'm thinking maybe uh, expansion vessel or the dreaded leak under floor, which won't be uncommon because I seem to be doing them all the time lately. So let's go have a look. I'll let you know. Right, so leak. see it looks like a fitting's come out of the speed fit uh, the pipes come out of the speed fit right down that way tiles Ugh. looks like one's gonna have to come up Stop. Hammer time. so what I'm gonna have to do Remove this tail. Customer's got some replacements, but I think he's going to do it himself. So I'm going to score down what I do. This is how I do it. Old knackered screwdriver. I'm going to just score the grout lines out there. Cut that silicon. And pretty much just smash it with armor, and that should just destroy that one tail and leave the rest. Then I'll be able to access underneath. Probably gonna have to cut it. So let's do that now. So, make yourself a hole, and you can start pulling the tile out then, piece by piece. So, get that out, get it tidied up, then we'll move on to the next step. What kind of dead tile adhesive is that? Hmm. So, as usual, it's about too soon. So, I'm gonna need to take this one up too. Same method. So that's the leak. Just jump onto the old pipe thing. One's cutting out and replacing. Okay, so I've uncovered it. So it's this pipe here. Ooh, it might be a little bit dark. Let me see it. A little strobe there if I turn on. Strobe it. Cool. You see that pipe there? See where it's been rubbing? So that's where it's been leaking. It's like corroded. Very old. So there's this new bathroom done and they've connected on to this old pipe. So what I'm going to do is just basically put a new bit of pipe through. Danny brought you can wait. And I'll advise him for a re pipe, but you now I'm here to just fix the leak, so I'm going to get on with that now. So that's the piece I've cut out. Straight out of Jurassic Park. I think that's the pinhole there. So it's very old, that very, uh, very, 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 very old copper. So I'm just going to replace it with the, uh, a piece of new copper. Connect it with two speed fit. Then all I can do is just recommend that the uh, they have it repiped. This is a new bathroom, apparently. And uh, I think they've done a good job, isn't it? I'll fix my leak and that'll be that for me. Okay, so excuse the rubbing. That's my new bit of pipe there. I'm just gonna put a clip on that bit there so it stops it rubbing. And yeah, that's it. So you can see there, the standard's not great, is it? But 
I say I'm not here to fit the bathroom, just here to fix it, so I'll let customer know and that'll do for that one. What the actual go to that much effort because those nice little holes there for the pipes to go through it's all connected up like that at the back it's quite dark right a quick bit finally about that one where I've just been um, you saw the state of the copper pipe work under there the, uh, the customers had um, somebody do the bathroom, or I think they've done it themselves. Um, and what they've done, they've connected onto the old copper pipe there, the old 50 style copper, you know, the uh, that really thick gauge stuff. A lot of it looks like it's corroding. So what I've done there is I've just done my bit, fixed the leaks, um, and I've advised him, and I'm gonna put I've put it on my invoice too, that you know if it were my place, I'd be starting again with that copper pipe work, getting it done professionally. Um, as much of a heartache it will be and the expense uh, otherwise I think she's going to be seeing me every week with those leaks in there it's not state of boiler too I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even be surprised if that were uh, if that were DIY as well everything's a bit shocking there but I've let her know and I've put it down on my invoice uh, and I've just done what I can do so paid on to the next one van stock right let's talk about van stock so things that I'm carrying every day um, for boiler repairs, basically. So what I do day to day, you all know now, um, boiler repairs, little plumbing jobs, things like that, that's what I sort of set up for. Um, always got the most popular bits on my van, always, because I want to get that first time fix. Now, it's important for your customers that you just get in there, you get the job done as quick as possible. They just want heat and hot water back, don't they, in the day. So let's have a look what I've got and what I carry every day. Every time I use it, I replace it. So, let's have a look then. Ideologic sumps, heat only, and Lundair, and Combi. These are going all the time, at a minute. You know, I'm doing one a week of these. Um, always handy to have on my van. Can't really fit it in the van, so I keep it in the garage. It work from the garage as well as my van. I love it local. Valent G10 seals, Viesman equivalent doing a lot of servicing and breakdowns like me always have, the, always have seals on the van now let's get this big box right what we got in here low water pressure sensors um, Baxi old ideologics I think you know they're always going get them changed keep them on the van Ah, the old Worcester blocks. So what we've got here is actual full title is a supply manifold. On the left hand side, always leaking from the uh, from the little section there. Where? Always leaking from around there every single time. I always handy to have one of these on. Again, very popular and cheap as well. Good thing about Worcesters, all the parts are very cheap, aren't they? Have you noticed? Always just easy, just get it, get it on the van. Most of diverter motors, again, very popular. Ideologic spark generator. Now, these are very, very common for me. Most popular boilers for me. Ideologic, Worcester Bosch Green Star, Junior, CDI, Viesman's. The earlier models. Um, what else am I going to? Not so much Baxi. I do. I do a few bits of Baxi, but not loads. Um, don't do many valence. I know a lot of people down south have a lot more valence than we do up here. It's generally Worcester Bosch and Ideal up here. Um, Council Wakefield Council. You know they fit a lot of Worcesters. Um, that's why I'm always going to see them. You know my my most popular boiler definitely Worcester Bosch Green Star Junior, all sizes. Just what it is is what it is 
Little uh, flow turbine for Worcester Bosch. A little drip on right hand side. I've gone through it before in one of my videos. Uh, always handy to have on fan. Again, like four quid, dirt cheap. I've also got on here bottle, um, auto air vent, Worcester. I think they fit a couple of Eastmans too. Always handy to have on fan. Go here. Electrodes, ideologic, might be ISA. Either way, always handy to have on the van. The go, you know, the bend, the contort. Sometimes you've got to bend them back and you snap them. Always good to have on the van, isn't it? Now, this is a plate heat exchanger for a Wiesman 050. Now, good thing about Wiesman. When they are called to a block plate or um, intermittent hot water, if they get it through their system, they will come and change the plate heat exchanger once as a goodwill gesture, and they'll leave the old one on site. So what I do is I take them home, I clean them myself, and then I keep them in my, uh, in my little box here, clean, basically. So if I ever get the problems again, I can go and I can just change it, and it's a quick job, no harm done. What else is in here? Another bottle of air vent. Ideologic turbine. I've gone through that as well, I think, on one of my videos. Um, <coughs> always handy to have. Fairly cheap. Um, don't take up much space. Easy stuff. Keep that on the van. I always have one of them. Baxi 105 diverter kit. Tim does one down at All About Gas. Always handy to have them. Diverter motor, Vokira linear, um, Idea Logic, earlier ones, um, some Baxes, <clears throat> always good to have on the van. What happens is the diverter leaks, the water is soaked up into the motor, blows the motor, sometimes it can trip the electric in the house too, so that's a good one to look out for, if they're saying that the, um, the power is tripping out to the whole house. Have one of these on the van, you won't go wrong. Gas tube, Worcester Green Star. Yeah, well. Now, top tip. This is the upgraded condensed tube for Baxi, so the Duotech. And um, what you find is uh, you'll find the you'll just find a load of water in the combustion chamber for no reason. Um, and you're thinking, where the hell's that come from? It's come from the old condensers. Get a new one of these upgrade kit, fairly cheap. Um, always good to have on van. First time fix. Customer loves you. Curved electrodes, I've got the flat electrodes as well for the CDI, these are Worcester Bosch electrodes. Um, change them all the time, you know, if you're doing a lot of servicing, a lot of breakdowns like I do, you're going to need them. Alright, so, I'm waffling on, because there's tons of stuff in there. What I'm trying to say is, if you are doing servicing breakdowns, aim for that first time fix. You know, customers are just going to lap it up, you're going to turn up, you're going to say... This is what it is, I've got it in the van and I can do it. You know what, that's going to get rid of diagnostic fees as well for your customers. Um, they don't like it thinking that they're paying twice. You know, if you can go there and you can say I can fix it right now, boom, job's done it. You know, you've got customer for life there. All right, one thing I'm missing is a red seal for a Worcester. And I tell you what, I'm going to have to go down and see Tim now at All About Gas to get one. So guys, any questions on that? Leave it in the comments uh, and I'll get back to you. All right, let's go. How are we? I'm all right, I'm all right. Good, good. Um, red seal for a Worcester, please, however cheap it may come. The cheapest way to get it is with a little plastic tube that goes to the gas valve on that particular model. We gas have those valve. in stock. Let's do it. Let's do it, one of them, please. One eternity later. 106 usual one. <laughs> the one that's, uh, is that the part number, sir? So, as if I ever know part numbers, right? I come in here, Tim will just tell me <laughs> what exactly, exactly what I need, and it's that. Easy as that, eh? Nice one. All about gas, get yourself down, check them out. I've probably seen it a million times by everybody else on YouTube, but we'll show you. He's had to get removed baffles. So, oh my god. So get yourself one of these from Worcesterbosch. It's their own baffle removal tool. Fit 
through the top down you'll feel the uh, you'll feel the top of baffle in there and basically we one hand and one hand on camera what you better do then is just lift it up like that okay so that's the top baffle so I put camera down we'll go for bottom one so set it upside down to the shorter end drop it in this one can be tricky so I'll get it right down there's no way for you to see it like I'll show you when it comes out I'll let you know how we do it so hooked on underneath and you should it's not stuck yeah strong arm it So when you're hooked on, get your strong weirer in the hole, and then you should be able to, no, don't go too mental like but that's it, that's shifted it. And then, like that, you should just lift out. So I'll put the camera down again, take it out, and I'll show you how to clean them out properly. Right, and just soak them in hot water. Stiff brush, and get that all cleaned out. Then we'll uh, go back to the exchanger, clean that through, put it back together, new seal, and it should be good to go. Another tool from Worcester, the little brush, big brush. Get that into the top of the exchanger. Nice and deep. Good scrub up and down. Good up, up and down and twist it. Then we're going to flush through with a lot of water. We're going to send it into a trap. And then that should be it, put together. Alright, guys, so like I said, I won't bore you with full service, but I just thought whoever's uh, not taking the baffles out before you might want to see that. Alright, guys, alright, that's going to wrap it up. Catch you later.